guys, today I'm going to show you how Ryan and I made our kitchen table. And when I say we, I mean mostly Ryan, and I pretty much just filmed it. Um, but yeah, we made our own kitchen table and bench. You can't see the bench right now because I'm sitting on it. Um, but basically we've been married for two years and haven't had a kitchen table yet. And the ones that I really liked were just like super expensive and so Ryan decided that he would just make me one and I love it. This is like my dream table. I'm so, so happy with how it turned out and we filmed the whole process so that if you want to learn how to make your own kitchen table, um, you can because it's honestly like not that hard. This is like the coolest DIY project. Um, it does take some time and like commitment to it but it's totally worth it like i am so in love with this table so yeah let's let ryan teach us how to make a kitchen table so obviously the first thing you need to make a table is some wood and you could just go to home depot or a place like that and get some planks of wood but we actually went to a lumber mill because we knew we wanted to make a little nicer quality table um so you can find a lumber yard you can talk to somebody there and they can probably consult with you um, to see what kind of wood you'd like what kind of look you're going for we picked up four planks of alder wood um, some knotty alder wood because we liked the look of the knots so we got four planks for our table top and two planks to make a matching bench and right now we're just kind of um, placing them how we want the table to look so now to actually make it, you're going to need to pick up three of these clamps and three pipes. And we just got these at Home Depot and Ryan just had them thread um, both ends of the pipes so that we can fit the clamps on them. Um, so three pipes, three clamps, and you just kind of make this little <laughs> structure um, that will hold the wood in place during the gluing process. Um, and I'm just putting down some newspaper so we don't get glue all over the floor. And you just start with two at a time uh, using super strong wood glue that won't break. <laughs> um, and so basically Ryan's just putting glue on one side of the plank. It doesn't have to be perfect. Just make sure it's, there's a lot of glue on there um, for it to glue nicely. And uh, so just put them together, make sure your edges are as lined up as possible, um, and then clamp it down. And you're going to let this sit for, I think it's recommend like at least a few hours, but we actually let it go overnight. And then the next day we, um, we glue another set of two, and now Ryan is gluing the two sets of two together using the same method. Um, you just put glue down, line the, the boards up, and clamp them tight. And then you can just let this set for a few hours or overnight as well, and there is your tabletop. So this part I didn't film because Ryan actually um, got it done while I was at work. Um, but basically because we had pretty thick wood, um, we, we glued all the pieces together and you could sand it all by hand to make it perfectly smooth. Um, so all the, if, if you look at the table you can't tell that there it's made up of four different planks like it is completely completely smooth um, you can't see the seams and so you could do that by hand um, if you have an electric sander or something but since this is such a big wood project and our wood was really thick and hard and we knew we wanted to shave some off the top and bottoms and side to make it all perfect um, we actually just took the whole plank back to the lumber mill that we got the wood from because they had a big industrial sander and we just had them put it through the sander however many times we wanted to get the thickness of the table that we wanted um, and it's just really easy for them to just put it through the machine and they can cut the sides 
to just, it comes out perfect. Um, so we honestly recommend that because it just worked so well and it looks super, super nice and it saves you like a ton of time. But if honestly you wanted to do it yourself, go for it. Um, you can totally sand the whole thing and it will look um, good as well. It'll just take you a long time. But I, I feel like if you get thinner wood from Home Depot or a different place, it'd probably be easier just to sand on your own. It might be a little bit wavy because you're human and you can't make it go through a machine that will do it perfectly. Um, but you know, that would just give it character. And so you can really say like, I completely did this 100% all myself. Um, but it was well worth it to us to put this whole plank through the machine there. So if you get wood at a lumber yard or wherever you get it, maybe there is a lumber mill near you that has a big industrial machine. I would look into that because it seriously, it was awesome saved a lot of time, wasn't that expensive, and um, it just comes out perfect. So that's what we recommend for this part, but you could do it by hand as well. Since our wood had knots in it, we want to um, seal those up so no food or anything gets in them. So Ryan's just putting masking tape over and around our holes so that when we put the glue in, um, it'll be easier to clean up. And before we actually put the glue in, we're going to put our hairpin legs on. So Ryan's just measuring around and making marks for where the drill bit is going to go. Then using some screws, Ryan's just screwing in our table legs. And so this is the glue we used epoxy and just follow the directions on the package. Uh, and this you kind of have to do fairly quickly because it dries really fast. <laughs> so um, it's nice to have the tape already done so it's an easier cleanup and you just fill in all your holes and you let that sit for a couple hours as well. So after the glue is dry, you're going to take all the masking tape off and um, you can just sand down any remaining glue uh, that's, that's raised on the table. So Ryan's just sanding, getting all the dust off, and now it's time to put a finish on your table. Um, so for the finish, we went with a water-based, just clear satin finish because I didn't want to stain or anything I liked just the look of the fresh wood. And we went with a water-based finish because we heard um, it doesn't make the, the wood yellow over time as much as like an oil-based finish does, but uh, you can do your own research and decide which one that is, which one you want. Um, so Ryan did about three coats on the table and the bench, and after each coat you just run um, a light sandpaper over it to, to make sure it's nice and smooth. And that's basically it. Um, that's, that's how you make a table, and I am so, so happy with how it turned out. I love it so much. Um, so we're super excited to start actually using a table. Thanks so much for watching. I hope that video made sense, all the steps. I tried to make it a fairly short video so you're not just like watching the whole process um, because that would take a long time. Um, so hopefully all the steps made sense. Um, feel free to leave any questions in the description box. My husband's already so excited to make a matching coffee table and anything else. Um, he loved, loved this project. Um, it was just really fun and it turned out, like I said, so great. It kind of looks like a West Elm table without paying the West Elm prices. So win-win there, I think. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching. Give the video a thumbs up if you like it and if you don't have a kitchen table and you want a really cool one that you can say you made it yourself and no one else in the world has the exact same table, which is pretty cool, then you should make one because it's not that hard and well worth it. So thanks for watching. Bye.